Education Center. Joining me to tell me a little bit about this slithering animal is Lediana Baca, one of the education specialists here. I'm so excited to see this snake. What kind of snake is it? This is a corn snake. This is Frida, one of our animal ambassadors here at the zoo. Okay, so tell me what the difference is between a corn snake and other types of snakes. Well, this snake is named a corn snake because he originated around uh, the area of the, what we call the breadbasket of the United States, the middle part of the United States where wheat and corn are raised. And mm -hmm. underneath, it looks like he has corn kernels. So we think that that's part of where the name originated originated from, uh, also called a red rat snake in some areas, but most commonly known as a corn snake. His job is to take care of those pests that are in the wheat and the corn by eating them and keeping those populations down so those insects and vermin do not affect the corn crop. Essential for our cornflakes and bread <laughs> that we get. So they do provide a useful thing in our environment. You were telling me that you don't recommend for people to have them as pets. One of the things about having a snake as a pet, it's a long-term commitment. Like any animal that you might get, uh, it's going to require a special holding place, a home. Uh, snakes require certain temperatures, humidities, rock. Um, so you need to be prepared for all those things when you're committing to having a snake as a pet, which is why we encourage working with animal services here at the El Paso Zoo that we have the policy of adopt, don't shop.